Well, I don't like this, but it seems Vic's been canceled again. For those wondering what con canceled them this time, it was Collecticon, specifically the Charlotte Grant, the Charlotte Stop. Now, for those wondering what Collecticon USA is, it's a convention of collectible item menu spots that goes across the country. It is the largest trading card, anime, and pop culture convention. This has several stops all over the course of the year, from February to October, or in six different locations. They were in Orlando at the end of last month, from the 26th to the 27th. At the end of May, they're going to be in da the Dallas-Fort Worth area, May 28th and 29th. Charlotte, they'll be in Charlotte, June 4th through 5th. Long Beach, California, August 21st and 20th. Kansas City, Missouri, September 17th and 18th. And Denver, Colorado, October 15th and 16th. Vic was originally set to show up at the June, the Charlotte stop, June 4th through 5th. Unfortunately, a few hours after it was announced, he got dropped. Now, to be fair, I think this was mostly on Vic for not looking at the at the guest list. And more specifically, not knowing that three of his major detractors were showing up. Let me run down the list specifically for this stop. For this particular stop. For music, for live performances, vanilla... Rapper Vanilla Ice alongside the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. For collectors, Gary Hase, a.k.a. King Pokemon. Goat Breakers, Dr. Applesauce, AJ Correa, Poke Tea Time, and the Poke Jew. Other live performances are going to be The Real DJ Biz, who's a disc jockey performing live, as well as the OG Pokemon theme song performer, Jason Page. But here's the, act, the voice acting slash acting aspect of it that, that more or less got him thrown out. Now, individuals that got him thrown out. First people I'm going to mention were ones Vic has worked with in the past and are not likely to throw them out. Walter Jones, Austin St. John, the original Black and Red Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, respectively. David Loge, who was also in Power Rangers as a couple of monsters, there's Puppet Mon in Digimon Adventure, but is most synonymous for playing Mash Jiraiya the Gallant in Naruto and Kenpachi Zaraki from Bleach. Eric Stewart, Erica Schroeder, and Sarah Nacheni. Those three don't really have much of a problem with Vic, though I would be suspicious of Eric Stewart, to be honest, since he has a bit of an ego. Not, and he wouldn't even sign my hat when I met him at HoshiCon 2016 before that con was permanently shut down due to letting minors into the bar. That being said, these are the three who threw him under the bus and more likely would have bitched about him being there if Vic was, if they stuck with Vic showing up. <sighs> Leah Clark, best known for playing Miss Kobayashi and Miss Kobayashi Dragon Maid, Mavis in Fairy Tale, and Himiko in My Hero Academia, Jason Liebrecht, Noragon, synonymous as Yato and Noragami. Zeke Yeager and the Beast Titan in AOT, Chapa and Dragon Ball Super, Dobby in My Hero Academia, Rob Lucci in One Piece, Luck Gander in Bacchano, Lee Shoron in both Card Capture Sak Sakura and Tsubasa Reservoir Chronicles, and the jerk who replaced Vic as Crow in Ruby. And then we have his girlfriend, Elizabeth Maxwell, Kalafla in Dragon Ball Super, Ymir in Attack on Titan. Libby in Camp Camp, Midnight in My Hero Academia, and of course, Winter Schnee in Ruby. Those were the three that more than like... Honestly, Vic was going to get canceled either way. Whether it was someone when asking 
the con not to get rid of Vic, but the own, but the con ops think taking it as reverse psychology and saying to cancel Vic, which is what I one of the possible ways that could have happened, or any one of these three bitching and demanding that Vic not show up. It was going to be one of those three possi two possibilities. The third option would have been one of his usual detractors like Pridemore, Sky, Mars Girl, Renthamus, etc., demanding that the con not bring him in. That being said, I've said this before, I'll say it again. Woe to you, actors at Funimation, Crunchyroll, whatever you call yourselves now, the former and Rooster Teeth, you hypocrites. I mean, you're willing to defend Damon Mills when he had legit evidence against him and even condone him basically threatening the guy who accused him, him when you know full well he's got something to hide. When you know what he did was wrong. And even Ron Toye... Uh, Strider, I said, you remember when I dissected Elizabeth Strider? Her, Elizabeth is Winter's voice actor, I mean voice actress, not Weiss's. Weiss is Kara L. Everly. Wrong schnee, right idea, wrong schnee, wrong schnee. And yes, I was the one who made that connection and basically used it and basically made a video where I dissected why Jason got the part. And like I said, that's probably the only reason thing I hold against Jason, I mean Jason at all, aside from the fact that he's kick Vic. The fact that it took his girlfriend to get him into the, through the door at Rooster Teeth. That being said, am I disgusted by the? Am I surprised by this? No. But am I disgusted by it? Yes. And even Ron Toye going as far as to defend Damon for what he did. Now again, to be fair, it is a bit on Vic for not looking at the guest list. It is somewhat on Vic for not looking at the guest list. And for those wondering, I've checked every other collective con stop past and f present and future. I mean, past and future coming up. And here are the common thread VAs that have shown up at each of them. Let's go with the Orlando let's start with the Orlando guest list first. The common three that have been showing up at every one of them, Eric Stewart, or Eric, Erica, and Sarah. But then throwing Elizabeth and Leah at a few of them, and others. Another flinch at each of them, you know, a few of them. In Orlando, it was Christina V, so there was no way Vic was going to get in that one. For the Fort Worth, Dallas, Dallas Fort Worth one coming up. Again, Eric, Erica, Sarah, Roger Craig Smith, Derek Snow, Jared Green, Kathleen ba Caitlin Barr. Three of those four, two of those three, I'm not sure what their allegiance was. 
is. But if I had to guess, they're also Kick Vic. Again, taking a guess on this one, as the majority of the My Hero Academia cast w did throw Vic under the bus. So would it surprise me if those two were Kick Vic? No, it, those three were Kick Vic? Not really. Roger, as far as I know, is not. I mean, is more neutral, from what I remember. I mean, is neutral towards Vic. Long Beach in August. Sean Schimmel, definitive kick Vic. And he was the only one that was honest about it. Openly hateful of Vic because of his how open Vic was about his faith. You, let me just throw this little barb at Sean Schimmel for a second. You know, Sean, not all Christians are cut from the same cloth as your pops. And for those who don't get where I'm going with this, in 2017 or 18, I've mentioned this a couple of times, he did an interview with a renowned Kick Vic YouTuber and Dragon Ball aficionado called Geekdom 101. And Sean openly admitted he doesn't like anyone who's Christian because it reminds him too much they remind him too much of his father. And how his father beat the religion into his head, and he eventually became jaded to it at many years later. Or they basically turned his back on it. Christina V, the aforementioned three of Stuart, Nachni, and Schroeder. Johnny Young Bosch is showing up. He's the only one we know of that is stand with Vic. Now, I don't know who Julius Kingsley is, but that's supposed to be Lelouch, not Julius, but whatever. Rico Fajarat. Bajardo, I think he's also Kick Vic, but I don't remember in a while since that list of Kick Vic actors, YouTubers, and whatever got taken down off DeviantArt. Colleen O'Shaughnessy, also Villiard, aka Villiard. Well, she's mostly known for her stuff in American content like Sonic the Hedgehog. She's also going to be voicing Tails in the upcoming so reprising her role as Miles Tails Prower in the upcoming Sonic 2 film, but most of her, and she's also been known to play Jazz Fenton and Danny Phantom, Sora Takanuchi in Digimon, but I think others from the mid-2000s would recognize her as the voice of Ino Yamanaka in Naruto. She's also reprised that role in Boruto, as well as playing the role of the daughter of one of Ino's teammates, Chocho Akimichi. Anyway, have I met Colleen Villiard, Villard, Ni Oshagansi? No, I haven't. Outside of Derek, Stephen, Prince, Vic, and Derek, Johnny, and Vic, I haven't really met anyone that's been involved in Digimon at one point or another in their careers. Would have met Brian Beacock in 2017, but he came down with a cold. But he ended up coming down with a cold. But he had to back out due to catching a cold. Anyway, let's move to the Kansas City stop. Lee is also showing up at the Long Beach stop. Let's move on to the Kansas City stop. Again, Eric, Erica, jump, Eric and Erica, but no Sarah. Add to this, aside from Leah and Johnny, into this stop. Ray Chase, Max Middleman, and Max Middleman, and along with Rico. Max has mostly done Viz content and is only synonymous with One Punch Man as Saitama and King from The Seven Deadly Sins. I was at a con Ray was at in Charlotte in 2019, Queen City Anime, but I didn't really get to talk to the guy, so I wouldn't have known about him back then. Nor would I have known he was joke. He was courtesan in One Piece. He says, I do now. The final stop is in Denver. And the final stops and the final set of guests, aside from the app, from the consistence of Vanilla Ice, Eric Stewart, Erica Schroeder, the Turtles, Jason Page, etc., 
are once again Eric Stewart, Erica Schroeder, Sarah Nuck, Nuck, Nata Cheney, Roger Craig Smith, John Young Bosch, Elizabeth Maxwell, Leah Clark, Christina V, and Jason Liebrecht, right? along with Ray Chase, Max Millman, and David Loge. Loge and everyone else. So you see the pattern? Vic wouldn't have never been able to get in to any of these spots. But given that at, in all, at all of them, at least one of his detractors would have popped up. You know, the VAs that despise him would have popped up, would have shown up. And that was even, and even if you take in the Denver and Long Beach stops where Johnny was going to show up to provide backup, it wouldn't have mattered. You need to provide backup for him, it wouldn't have mattered. Call me pessimistic, but I'm being realistic here. Vic, if you're watching this, I have another con you could have shown. I know of another con in Charlotte you could have shown up to. You have a shot at showing up to. It's three weeks out and three weeks after Collect a Con. And it's called Heroes Convention. It runs from June 24th to June 26th. Just giving you an option, my friend. I'll bring it up to you with you tonight. If you are even capable, bring it up with you tonight. Dis discuss this with you tonight. If you're willing to call me, bring me into the stream. I stand with Vic, now, then, and forever. Leave a comment, smash the like, sub to this channel. Mets2128 signing out. Goodbye. Good night. Bang. And I really don't like the fact that I had to put this in, stream this video today.